Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I am going to do this look over a dead, like neon skull look. So if you guys are interested in learning how I did this, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so we are going to start out with putting foundation over our lips. I already have like my base done. Um, now I'm just going to cover my lips. I'm using the Tarte Cosmetic Foundation, Full Coverage Foundation. Okay, once you got those good and covered, I'm gonna start with putting the pink over my lips for the skull's mouth area. I keep having to get up and down because I'm forgetting everything okay gonna start out with this um, really bright pink color right here from the morphe 35b palette and put all over my lip area All right, now I'm gonna start kind of outlining the teeth, where the teeth are gonna go. Um, so I'm gonna use a smaller brush. That was the Morphe, Morphe E8 brush. This looks so, I look like I just like drank a bunch of Kool-Aid and got it all over my lips and my face. It's really, really cute. All right, for the smaller, to kind of outline the teeth, I'm gonna use the E36 brush in that same hot, hot pink color. And then I'm gonna kind of follow where like my teeth are in my actual mouth because that makes it easier. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I have the top then. It looks like this. I know it looks crazy right now, but that's okay. It can look crazy right now. Now I'm just gonna take the same pink shade and the same brush and kind of make my lower lip bigger with the color. Those, I don't know if that makes any sense, but. All right, this is what we have so far. So you can see. Now I'm gonna take a bigger brush and take the color out and you want it to be thick closer to the mouth and then get thinner as you take it out. So I'm using the same palette, same color, and then I'm gonna use the Morphe, Morphe M518 brush. All right. We can always go back in, clean up, make changes. But this is what we have so far. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in there with um, this deeper pink shade just to create some dimension. It's almost purple, this shade right here. And I'm just gonna go over what I just did but with smaller brushes. Um, to kind of help create the dimension for the neon effect. So I'm gonna be using the Morphe M506 brush to start out. Okay. Now for the mouth area, for the top teeth part, I'm gonna go that was really cute picking my nose on camera. Okay, um, M213, actually disclaimer, I wasn't picking my nose, it had an itch, so just so you know. Okay, the same deeper pink purpley color and kind of go, just cause I want to be really neat with the teeth area. Oh, 
Okay, I am getting some fallout from that shadow on my chin. So I'm gonna just take this brush and kind of wipe that away. All right, now, this is what's really going to create the neon effect. Um, it's white liner, or I am going to use the shadow scents. Snow again, like I used in my last tutorial. Um, I'm just gonna take a liner brush, detailed liner brush, this is the M2501, and I'm coating it. Like, I am putting so much product on it, it's unbelievable. I'm coating the brush and then I'm gonna go in and trace everything out. Right here we're gonna do a line in the middle and then hash marks. Line in the middle and hash marks and then we're gonna carve out the teeth with the white. Okay, so for the teeth you want them to be um, on the top, you want them to be like a teardrop shaped, thicker on top, uh, thinner on the bottom. Okay, I went ahead and finished the top teeth off camera because I didn't want you guys to have to sit through that. So now I will do a few of the bottoms on camera and then I will finish the rest off camera just to make things a bit quicker. Okay, I'm back on with my bottom teeth drawn in. Okay, now I'm going to do with the white, the hash marks. Okay, those don't have to be super neat. I kind of like it when they look a little bit more messy. Alright, now, now I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 509 brush with that same hot pink color and kind of put some of the really bright pink shade right here in the middle of the teeth. I actually, okay, I'm gonna change my mind on brush and I'm gonna use the Morphe 213 brush. Morphe 213. Okay, I'm also gonna go, I kinda got a little messy here under my teeth, so I'm gonna take the hot pink and kinda buff this out underneath my teeth area. Kinda makes that a little bit less messy. Okay, so we're all done with the mouth look. Now onto the eyes. Okay, just kidding, we're not doing the eyes first. We're gonna do have the we're gonna have this like line coming out from my cheekbone going down towards the mouth with the using that same bright pink shade. Starting from the cheekbone. Okay, now you're gonna go back in with the darker pink shade and I'm using the Morphe 513 brush with a darker pink shade. Okay, now you're gonna go back in with your white liner and or white eyeshadow and make the line couldn't find my brush and make the line in the middle. Okay.
Okay, now we're gonna move on to the eyes. So what we're gonna do is a hot pink crease. I'm gonna take this brush, I just got this off Amazon so I'm not sure what it's called. And I'm just gonna go in with this hot pink on my crease. Okay, we want it really super pink, as you can see. Now I'm just gonna go in in the black and I'm gonna use my finger and pat the black all over my lid. Okay, now I'm gonna blend that out with the Morphe E17 brush. Okay, you're also gonna take that black shade and put it like in the middle of your, like up here like this. Kinda make you look a little bit dead. All right, I'm gonna go back in with the hot pink color. I'm gonna use the Morphe M513 brush and just go back and blend this together. All right, now I'm gonna go in with black eyeliner and line my waterline. All right, and I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe 506 brush and a little bit more of the black and just darken up the under eye. All right. Then I'm just gonna take this Morphe E8 brush and kinda clean up this area right here. Just blend that out a little more. Blend this in a little more. All right, now I am going to take that same brush, the Morphe E8 brush, and dip into the hot pink. And I'm gonna kinda do a, like a contour with my forehead with a pink. Okay, my brush is fell. I'm gonna hop off camera, finish the other eye, and then I will be back on with the completed look. Hey guys, I'm back with my completed look. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will be back with more videos and this is my last Halloween look. It's been super fun. Um, I will see you guys soon in the next video. So I hope everyone has a great day and yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.